sure I ever heard Hillary Clinton use the words public diplomacy. Perhaps she did and I wasn't there to hear it. She referred to it more as people-to-people -people diplomacy, which is what public diplomacy is about. Uh, it is about engaging with your audience. It is about engaging with the real people who usually don't have the opportunity to put tough questions to their leaders. Um, and that's again going back to uh, the difference between a public affairs officer and public diplomacy. Uh, public affairs officer don't necessarily conduct town hall meetings where they're able to engage with, uh, with an audience, where there is a back and forth. Uh, Clinton, Hillary Clinton engaged very much in public diplomacy uh, in the real sense of being out there, accessible to people, on stage, with town hall meetings, interviews with journalists, uh, meetings with tribal leaders in, in Pakistan or uh, business people uh, in, in China. Um, and she saw that as a way of conducting uh, public diplomacy to improve or change uh, perceptions of America around the world. Clinton went to Pakistan really wanting to engage with Pakistani people in a way that had not been done before by her predecessors. And she had by then already done a lot of uh, town halls and other such events uh, around the world in countries that were mostly friendly to the US. But she decided to uh, keep at it and also do it in a country like Pakistan, which is not an enemy of the US, but with which the US has a very complicated, complex relationship. Her staff put together a Hillary Clinton template trip with, as I said, lots of town hall meetings and interviews with journalists over the course of two or three days. And Clinton knew that she, in essence, was agreeing to be a punching bag for a people who were frustrated and upset about their relationship with the United States. And you could really tell in that town hall in Lahore the amount of frustration and pent-up anger that was there, which Hillary Clinton uh, just uh, allowed to come her way. And she replied to all the questions very calmly, taking into account people's concerns, people's angst, uh, people's frustrations, people's disappointments, addressing that, trying to answer the questions with the facts that she had as, as best as she could, so that people could let go uh, of their frustration, allow them to vent, so that you could then have a more constructive uh, conversation going forward. But the reason why it was so memorable for me is because having grown up in Beirut, where I also had a lot of questions about American power and some frustrations as a, as a young kid, I could really relate to the questions coming from the audience in, in, in Pakistan. I understood what they meant when they said, you know, you've abandoned us in the past, why should we believe you if you say now that you're standing by us? But it was so vitriolic, it was so intense, more so than anything that I had seen, that even I felt bad. <laughs>